Welcome back to Factorio MSX Gigabase. Um, UPS is playing games with us. How are we doing otherwise? We are... Let's do one minute. Um, just shy of 400,000 iron. Um, the sciences are... Well, these are the most important. I mean, probably followed by that one. Space science, of course, can jump around. It looks like... We're basically doing our 6,000 per minute. Um, and that's probably why things are stressed as far as that goes. Um, I have added nine trains, nine plate trains here. Because that was necessary to... Um, this is possibly a problem right there though. Um, I wasn't... the weight uh, stops were not filling up while... Um, at least that one's moved off, so with a bit of luck that guy will go up to the top now. Yes. Uh, the weight stations weren't filling up while I had um, less. I added six, I thought that would be enough, it wasn't. Because if the weight stations don't fill up, you then get gaps where... Um, we're not achieving our maximum potential, so obviously we needed to sort that out. It looks like we probably have now, I'll assume. So this thing probably is producing at about 140. It's not the problem. What is the problem, and why we are not doing oil this episode, um, as in the oil up here, is uh, this stack here. Um, you'll see there's no trains, no ore trains waiting. Um, and that's because this mine has depleted. This part of this one has depleted and none of the trains are therefore coming down here because they're blocked by this one. Um, and then of course we have some rationalization. This one needs to move over to here uh, so that it can then... Well, I mean this one is going to be quite a long distance away but um, it's not worth turning this into a two. There's only seven... I mean this, this is going to deplete in the fairly near future um, but I'll, I'll move this line over to here uh, we'll shut down this one completely we will there's a tiny little bit here so I guess we'll have one little trail coming out here but the rest of these need to be diverted to down here um, and then we probably need to come out here and open up this one that's probably the best one for us to move to an alternate would be this guy, but the infrastructure is more in place to get to this one, so um, I guess that's what we'll do. We'll just put a uh, double platform down one side. This will avoid the hole in the middle. I don't quite know why we have a hole in the middle, but we do. So we'll probably just come down here. Um, we won't be able to do all of that in a single episode, uh, but we will at least be able to make a start. Um, Probably the most pressing part of the problem is actually up here, but it'll be easiest to get to it if I come here. So what I'm going to do is turn this to manual for the moment. We'll drive out, and we will drive up um, to be able to access the inner part. Because I'll, it's likely, or it's possible, we'll need this train. And um, I will fill this piece in um, because this is not a, a. Oh, actually, it is an issue. I'm going to have to empty it. But all right, we need to. Um, what has happened in the past, if I leave this open, is trains around here looking for fuel come out here and then they get stuck. So I have to drive through and and uh, fix it up. Um, and in fact, there's, as there's no trains coming, I might just, whoops, there is a train coming. They don't wait for me, typically. Ah, that one is waiting. All right. We will come up here, then. And then just quickly um, disconnect this network again. so that we don't have to sort out trains going silly places for their fuel. Uh, 
Um, in spite of these numbers, I do believe that our fix to oil has been helpful. Um, it would be somewhat worse, I think, without it. Uh, the fact that I've added nine plate trains to one of the stacks probably has contributed to where we're at right now. We'll head down this way. So there's not so much that you haven't seen this before, but we need to do this maintenance rather desperately. Um, to keep running at our 6,000, oh, 6, I thought I was running into a train there, but I'm not, so that's all to the good. Um, I could probably go through this thing and sit where this train isn't, but I guess instead of that, what I want to do is uh, we probably want some rail. a bit of extra signalling as well as always to the good so um, what I'm going to do is I have dropped my um, I have my good rail but I have left the um, blueprints for most of my stuff somewhere and I can't actually remember exactly where I might have to look up my uh, footage to see where I've actually put some of these things but if I go to a fairly new um, iron ore mine, which this one would fit the bill, um, basically, in fact, I could even probably copy, although this is excessive, I could even copy, say, the first layer, because that is probably, well, actually, it looks like we do need all of this. Maybe I can just copy the lot to about here, and then just stamp that down. That might be a... Um, faster way of doing it and I've fixed most of the issues that I've had previously with this thing there so if we do that spin this around oh we've already got mines here that's right so that's why I don't do that alright uh, let's go back then to that mine and just take out the central piece which is actually going to be more useful Uh, I just have to take a bit of extra so that we get the signals that are on the outside of the track and then we can basically get rid of all of this stuff. That is going to work a little bit better for me. And the same up here. That's perfect. So let us give this a slightly more meaningful symbol. Uh, that one and probably a two. Um, two platform iron. There, that should save me a little bit of time. Now, back here. Yeah, that's right, we needed to do that, didn't we? Um, as in have that thing around the corner, but we can probably go down a little bit further this time. And that does fit in there pretty well. So as long as I basically get rid of all of, um, all of this stuff here, which will probably cause the whole mine to lose power for a bit, but that will be alright. Um, I don't really know how this is measuring up at the top end. But we'll worry about that in a tick. Um, Go 
guys. Hurry up. Oh, you actually have some of these resources down here, do you? That's interesting. Uh, now, this probably isn't going to work quite as simply and easily as I would like. Um, but I might, um, I might allow it to do a bit of a... Uh, because it's not going to be here for that long, so I don't really mind it doing this sort of thing. Just because it's going to be a little bit easier to get the thing in place. Whoops. some connecting power oops and um, signals of course and rename the station and then rip this bit out. Right. Um. This is the best way of clearing the requester chests in the old iron Whatever it was, I didn't even notice. Because we're starting to have to do these rather a lot. But that's alright. Um, now, while they clear that, let's start getting rid of all this stuff. Um, whoops, not that. You guys can go into there. We probably need some uh, trains to come through actually now to clear this out for us. Which means that uh, my train is probably very much in the way. Yeah. Right, let's move our engineering train so that trains can at least come in. And I'll send it down this path because that will be slightly easier to um, get it out of the way. And just be a little bit careful that these trains coming in don't cause us issues. There are two trains that should help clear everything. Um, we're probably almost done with this mine actually. I might just add in... Uh, oh, I don't have that pattern, do I? don't have any of my patterns. Um, let me just check something. Yes, that is... Okay, so... If I make a new blueprint of that... That's the pattern I was talking about. I think this has... Yes, it does. Good. So basically we can add in some additional mining here to keep this one afloat. Um, and 
and with a bit of luck it should have fully depleted the um, it should have fully depleted all of these active um, active provider chests so we can go ahead and rip all of this stuff out temporarily place a supply chest in there. Now, what I want to do is basically uh, slap this guy down. Well, we want to do it in such a way as... this kind of lined up. One, two. Uh, now, I would like to have get rid of those. Uh, they're still not in range. We do need a um, extension of the range to cover those guys because those are the uh, resources. Okay, none of this is connected just yet. Still not connected over here. What I save. go. A little bit of tidy up. That one's not powered. Do we have here 410? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I think we've got enough bot charging. So, oh, and it's not powered up this end. Okay. Um, that should fix this one as far as I was hoping and wanting to fix. So uh, what I do want is, well, I don't want that, but what I do want is some of the resources out of here because I don't happen to have a whole bunch of spare. Right, we can take all of that. Oh, take those too. Um... I'll throw all of these bots on board the train because we don't really need them. But I will when I extend the mining operations. So the next thing to do is come out to Iron 12 and basically shut that down. So um, let's find Iron 12. I've known that this one's basically been dead for quite some time. It's just, it's now gotten to a critical point when there's no ore trains coming in here. The steel is struggling um, to supply. So we need to, we need to jam this up with ore trains again. Um, and we should have enough. out to this one and are you going to push in? Are you going to be able to push in? Probably not. Oh, I hadn't even noticed we'd finished 305. We're now doing 306. 
Uh, that is a little bit further to run than I really wanted to, but I guess we've got no choice. Alright. Actually, what we could do is we can send this one away. That will let this one move, or let them all move. Let's just jump back in our train. You can go on manual mode so that you don't get the priority. We'll jump on board our train. We'll tell this guy to move. Uh, he needs to go to the fuel stop three. All right, go there. So he'll move. This one will come down here. If it was sensible, it would come down here, but it probably won't. It'll probably just jam this up. This one will move up. We'll move up. Where are you going? Around the corner. Of course you are. Why don't you head straight down here? Because that would be too clever. Alright, you know what? You can also go. Because that will free this one out of the way. We're probably going to have to do that soon enough anyway, but... Um, we want to clear up Iron 12. Um, I may have to... I want to basically stop the Iron 12 train, well, my train here, the engineering train here. So, let us go to manual mode now. And come into this spot here. Um, run over. So we're going to try and uh, empty these ones as well. So we'll have to manual U. Delete this uh, train station. Uh, this one oh, it might not actually be able to come back in. We'll have to manually move it forward a little bit and then let it drive into here. Hopefully it can empty these uh, last chests for us. point it should be fine. Might even use the ride to come back here ourselves. And we can start eliminating all of this. have space. You might not actually have enough space. Alright, that's fine. Uh, it will come back for one more load then. We might as well... We're now disconnected from the power that that was relying upon. That has power, that has power, that has power. Power, power, power. We need power right there. Does that give us power everywhere? It does, good. Let's just be a little bit more careful then. When we remove this stuff. Um, yeah, that could be helpful. of 
course, is no longer useful. Alright, so that is iron 12. Now, iron 11, um, basically what, I mean it's almost not worth it, but what I want to do is just exhaust these tiny little bits. It's probably, it probably really, it really isn't worth it. Great, so you've got nothing. Um... I guess what I could do is I could drive out, I could tell this one to just stop up there, first of all. Manually drive this one out, so this goes in here, just to get it out of the way, then drive this one down here. Um, I don't want to manually do this all though. I was going to just back this one out and force it down. Um, It's not going to work with that other one in the way. Alright, so you go to manual. Doesn't really matter which way around here it goes. quite far enough. Back up. Now I'll come down, actually. Let's do this instead. Let's simply delete this part. Now the only way to access um, this mine 11 is down here. We'll just have to go far enough so that these signals allow us to um, go to this one. Now of course this is not ideally placed, it should really be in the middle, but um, I am going to save time rather than worry about that terribly much. Uh, you are on automatic, that's good. So let's put you back onto automatic. Forces you down to here. And um, for these two, um, let us rip up the stuff that has no value. Uh, we can usefully Put a mine on that. Um, oops. Put a mine on that. right there. The tiny bit on this side that's missed by that mine. Okay, the 
this thing is not serving a good purpose right there. Let's move it to there. And these two little bits here as well. worked because you're in the wrong spot. You are not in the coverage zone so we will need one of those there and this one here as well. So that would seem, I think I still need this guy, but we can thin out, uh, no, I need that. We can thin out a little bit of the excess electrical network. Um, I don't know how much all of these bits add up to. They'll probably fill up these two trains. And then we'll see. Uh, but for now, uh, we could actually do with some mines down here. Uh, You have construction bots, good. Um, there. have power poles. They do not. Alright, we'll have to run down there after all. And give... where is the... there it is. That chest could do with some extra power poles. There we go. Uh, so that should sort out that mine for now. Iron 11. Um, so, what else do we have? Uh, this is a mess. Um, at least this is looking a little bit more healthy right now. I might just do the extension to down here. Uh, which is probably, well at least set it up. We're probably running short of time in fact at this point for a sensibly lengthed episode. So, um, I'll do what I can and probably end up finishing some of this off camera. But um, yeah, these you can't just leave these outposts even with a huge uh, multiplier. Um, because they exhaust. I mean, even iron four five seven is now four four seven. It's dropped ten million. Um, so even that is uh, reducing. So we actually want to head towards iron four five seven. Okay. Iron four five seven circuit condition. Let's go. Maybe I should have left iron twelve there because we will want to come back once this one has um, gone in there one more time. That's basically it. How are the numbers looking? Four hundred thousand plates. We're burning faster though, so we still probably need to do some work with our. Iron smelters still. Uh, I might just go to manual mode. 
let this one get past me. Now, how are we going to track from here? Um, I mean, I don't know how many other irons we're going to need to access, but I guess it makes sense to carry on the four-way and then just shoot straight down here, obviously get some landfill. So, all right, we'll do that. to do a um, signal correction down there. Let's do it while we think of it. Because obviously... Um, oh, we don't actually need to use that. Those need to be chain signals. Okay... I could probably put another uh, dual platform on Iron 457 if I really wanted to, but I'd also kind of like to open up this new mine as well. I mean, we could probably avoid the water hazard if we wanted to do a bit of a turn but I'd rather just go straight for it so we'll have to get some um, landfill which definitely means this won't be able to be completed in this episode but that's fine we'll do what we can I guess one more Now, um, where exactly would we want this to go? I mean, probably if we put a two-way up there, wherever it ends up here is probably fine. So yeah, I guess this part here, if we um, remove the sig whoops, uh, remove the signals from there. Get a, whoops, a four to two. Let's jump back on board. Uh, the four to two needs to be fixed, doesn't it? I keep forgetting these things, or at least get distracted by what, by what I consider to be higher priority, because that takes like a a millisecond and then I forget about it. Uh, right, so now we are on two lane. And we are going to run out of land to build on very shortly. Okay. Trees. We don't need trees. Uh, we'll just keep laying these down as though the water wasn't in the way. Remove as much as we can. Oops. Uh, come on, get out of the way. Of course, I can't see a thing right at the moment either, which doesn't help. I think 
that is connecting. Good. And here we are at the mine, so we can now position this one in some uh, semi-sensible kind of fashion. And look, I can even turn all of this stone into a landfill. Not very much, unfortunately, but landfill nonetheless. Uh, let's get a little bit of Invini Zoom action. So probably something like that is going to work for us. Um, which means that... We're going to want to uh, probably rip up maybe that bit. Let's try that. Now I do have some miners on me, maybe not as many as I would like, but I do have some. So is this iron 258? No, I don't think it's special enough. Iron 457 was pretty special, but 258 is just commonplace now, so it's just iron whatever we're up to. Uh, let's just have a look. Iron HI. Iron 28. And yes, everything's flashing because it doesn't have power. Um, guys, I think we have probably done um, enough for this episode. Between episodes, I'll get the landfill train or I'll get access to a chunk of landfill and uh, fill this out so that it's up and running. And um, we'll direct a few trains this way. But yeah, that's uh, all we've got time for. We will get to the Northwestern Oil very, very soon and hopefully get a little bit of recovery here. But um, it seems pretty obvious that uh, running at 400,000 plus iron plus, you know, 260,000 copper, 230,000 electric circuits per minute, um, large amounts of steel, etc., etc. Oh. What happened there? 5.2, 5.3, yeah. Not having the uh, level of... Like, this is still far too long, this list. Interesting that plastic is appearing so often. Um, I wonder if I actually don't have quite enough plastic. That is possible. We'll probably end up with a slight resource increase because if you notice, we, from two we had to go to three modules, so five that would be to seven point five. So we'll go to eight. So we will actually get a slight increase in the plastic. But anyway, that will have to do us for this time. So thanks for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye bye for now.